A hidden ecological disaster is unfolding off the California coast tonight. The undersea helps forests that so many species depend on are disappearing. Darren Peck explains why. I just have this fear that people are going to say, how did we never know about this? Sheila Sammons is the executive director of the Noyo Center of Marine Sciences on the Mendocino Coast, and that places her at ground zero of an ecological crisis right now. I've had grown men crying on, in my office saying, I've been diving here for 30 years. I've never seen anything like this. What can I do? Losing 96% of an ecosystem mostly hidden beneath the waves can be difficult to visualize. Let's just look at an eight mile stretch of coast from Point Arena south. We start in 2008. It's a particularly good year for kelp. Everything in teal here is kelp forest canopy. The forest naturally grows larger or smaller from year to year, but in 2015, most of it vanishes and then never recovers. But the kelp didn't just disappear. It's been devoured by purple urchin who've recently been given two big advantages. Their natural predator, the sunflower sea star, was wiped out in 2013 by a pathogen. Right after that, the kelp's defenses also began weakening due to a warming ocean. Warm is hardly the way anyone who's dipped a toe in the water off our coast would describe it. But kelp is used to chilly 55 degrees. Lately, the water's been reaching the mid 60s. And for this ecosystem, that's a heat wave. Which brings us to the root of this problem. The Pacific is getting warmer. If we time lapse the last 10 years, we see an obvious trend. Areas in red show temperatures that are above average. Some of that water along the coast was near 70 degrees. There's certain locations like this spot, Russian Gulch, where the kelp is just hung on. Assistant Professor and Brent Hughes of Sonoma State University took me to a small beach where he's found a glimmer of hope in all this. If you're going to restore by reseeding, then maybe you should select from the best populations that are going to have the best chance of surviving if there's another warming event. And it's important to point out that this past summer saw a strong uptick in the California current, delivering much needed colder waters to the coastline. It was an absolute best case scenario for what kelp need to thrive.